Hello everyone, this is Professor Zahida Niaz Khan from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. We are here to discuss about the syllabus contents of the subject Costing and Finance Management. So if you see this particular subject, it is a blend of two different subjects. One is Costing and the other is Finance Management. So the syllabus contents of this particular course are intended to study costing subject up to 80 percent and finance management up to 20 percent. The course description includes now engineering management relies on the knowledge of engineering economics to be able to evaluate projects from a financial perspective. So the knowledge of costing is very important for an for any engineer and specifically for a mechanical engineer because the knowledge of costing is going to help in the decision making process. This course is specifically designed to present engineering students with the major concepts and techniques of costing which are needed in the decision making process. So the emphasis of this particular subject will be on the analytical analysis of cost calculation of a component. Let us go to the course syllabus. The first unit is dedicated for the introduction. In introduction, we will be studying the basics or the fundamentals of the costing environment which includes what do you mean by flow in an economy, what is the law of supply and demand, what are the different types of efficiency, what exactly do you mean by cost, what is cost unit, what is cost center, what are the different types of cost, how do you define costing, how do you define the costing system, the desirable conditions for a costing system, what is the cost, price and profit equation, what exactly do you mean by cost estimating, definition, purpose and functions of cost estimating, role of cost estimator, estimating procedures and break even analysis. Unit 2 is dedicated to study depreciation. We all know that each and every asset is subjected to depreciation after a specific span of time. So one of the important elements of costing is depreciation. So here we will be studying what is depreciation, what are the different causes of depreciation, how will you calculate the depreciation values using the different methods of depreciation. After that we will also be studying the review of the purchasing procedure. Now how the material is purchased into an, any organization, how the recording of stock is done and how the consumption of material is done. Now whenever a material enters any organization, it enters every time with a different market rate. But while calculating or considering the material cost, which is the cost that you need to consider? is something which will be decided by this LIFO, FIFO and weighted average method. Unit 3 is dedicated to estimation of fabrication, foundry and forging cost. We all know that there are different manufacturing processes which are used for production of different types of items. It could be fabrication or welding it could be using foundry processes, it could be using forging, it could be using machining operations. The way of cost estimation is different for each of these processes because each of these processes vary from each other in each and every aspect right from the material requirement, the labor requirement as well as the indirect or the overhead requirements. So we will be studying what are the different constitutes of each of these types of industries costing, the direct cost, the indirect cost, the estimation process for each operation. In this we will also be studying the process of breaking down product drawing into simpler elements or shapes, estimating the volume, weight and cost. How do you calculate the operation time, the calculation for turning, knurling, facing, drilling, boring, reaming, threading, milling, tapping, shaping, cutting, various grinding operations etc. Apart from that, we will also be studying how do you calculate the machine hour rate. Unit 4 is for overheads and cost accounting. As I said, the indirect cost also needs to be considered into the final cost of the product. Overheads is nothing but the indirect cost. 
So, when you consider the indirect cost, you cannot directly consider a, a cost of the electricity bill directly into the product. Okay. It has to be distributed evenly on the, on the different products that have been manufactured at the same time into any organization. So, there are different methods for overhead allocation, apportionment, absorption of overheads. Apart from that, we, have, we do have different cost accounting methods which varies depending on the volume of production. So, it is job costing, it is batch costing, unit costing, process costing, contract costing and activity based costing. Unit 5 is for finance management. So, here we will be studying what are the various objectives of finance management, uh, what are finance functions, what is internal and external, short, medium and long term finance, what are the various sources of funds for business organizations, what do you mean by concepts of wants, scarcity, choice, opportunity cost, demand and supply curves, price determination. Apart from that, we will also be studying minimum attractive rate of returns, internal rate of returns and we will also be introducing to direct and indirect cost and also GST. Last but not the least, the unit 6 is dedicated to cost control and cost reduction techniques. In this, we will be studying the various techniques of cost control and cost reduction which includes budgetary control, budget objectives, how do you classify budgeting, what do you mean by standard cost, what is variance analysis, what is marginal cost, what is value analysis, value engineering, zero based budgeting, the time value of money and the cash flow diagram. So, this is all about the contents of the syllabus of costing and finance management.